Balancing of rotating equipment is recognized globally as an essential requirement in the areas of manufacturing, maintenance, repair, and operation of an industrial plant. During manufacturing of a piece of rotating equipment, the rotating components are balanced either as an individual item or as an assembly, or in some instances a combination of both. To balance the components or the assembly, the parts are installed in a balancing machine where a manual balance correction is made. Once the rotating equipment has been installed on site, there is typically a need to make a field balance correction, known as either a trim balance or in situ balance. Both of these terms refer to performing a manual balance correction without removing the rotor or associated assembly from the bearings. The field balancer operation begins with a trial run used to establish a baseline of the vibration level. The rotating equipment is then stopped and a trial mass is added. This trial mass allows the amount of unbalance to be identified and a calculation made to determine the mass of the balance weight and its location required to cancel out the unbalance. Once the trial run has been completed, the rotating equipment is stopped and the calculated balance weight is added or removed. The rotating equipment is then started again and measurements are made to determine if the desired level of balance has been achieved. If not, the process is repeated until an acceptable balance level is reached. Lord balancing systems provide a unique alternative to the traditional on-site field balancing methods. The Lord balancing system is able to detect the unbalance, identify the correction capacity required to offset the unbalance, and automatically make the balance correction while the piece of rotating equipment is running. How is this accomplished? Before we answer that question, let us first review the components which make up a Lord balancing system. Stationary Coil Assembly The coil assembly is the non-rotating portion of the balancing system that attaches to a static structure and provides power to the balancer assembly. Balancer Assembly The balancer assembly permanently attaches to the shaft of the piece of equipment and is the rotating portion of the balancing system that houses the counterweight rotors used to compensate for the unbalance in a piece of rotating equipment. Vibration Sensor the vibration sensor provides a signal to the controller, which is processed to determine the magnitude of the vibration and corresponding unbalance. Inside the balancer assembly, there are two counterweighted rings called rotor assemblies. Each counterweighted rotor assembly is comprised of a number of permanent rotor magnets and balance weights. These two counterweighted rotor assemblies can rotate independently, either clockwise or counterclockwise within the balancer assembly. Now let us see how Lord's balancing system works. The vibration sensor is mounted on or near the bearing center line and is continuously sampling the vibration level. This information is sent to a controller where the vibration signal is analyzed and compared to a user programmable set of vibration trip points. When the vibration level exceeds the high trip point, an alarm is initiated. The controller then determines the amount of unbalance, the correction capacity required to make a balance correction, and the location that the counterweight rotors need to be moved to in order to reduce the vibration. This is often referred to as calculating the magnitude and phase angle of the balance correction. The controller then sends a series of commands to a power amplifier, which in turn provides modulated power to the coil assembly. The coil assembly then transmits power across an air gap to the balancer assembly. The two counterweighted rotor assemblies are then moved to the desired location inside the balancer assembly to correct for the calculated unbalanced condition and lower the vibration level to less than the specified amount. This automatic balance correction is typically completed in less than 60 seconds. Once the system is installed, you do not have to stop the piece of rotating equipment to perform a balance correction.